It's Black Friday. You've heard of Black Friday. Of course. The very best day to get your deals on Final Cut Pro plugins and Motion VFX has an amazing sale. Pretty much everything is 30% off on their store right now. And they are actually sponsoring this video for me to show you five different plugins this Black Friday. I'm gonna come right out of the gate and start with the really big one that I cannot live without and that is M Tracker. 3D. So to use M Tracker 3D, you'll just go on down into your effects, locate the M Tracker 3D category, and we can apply that onto whatever shot we like. Then from there, we'll just come to the right side and select track. From here, it's gonna go ahead and just track it in the background. It can take a good chunk of time depending on how complex the shot is that you're working with. Now that everything is tracked, let's go ahead and jump into our titles. So we can go to M Tracker 3D and find all of these incredible titles drop zones, particles, pointers, all sorts of 3D models. Now there are so many incredible examples of people tracking 3D titles in their scenes, so I thought I would change things up and actually show you some of the cool particle effects that are built into M Tracker. So let's go ahead and scroll on down to the fog effects, and I really, really like the fog effects. We'll just go ahead, drag that onto our timeline, we'll push option right bracket to trim it down. Now all we need to do to copy our tracking data from one clip to the next is select select that clip, then we are going to select copy track. After that we can select the fog clip and push paste track. So now the fog should have all the tracking data that we've already created. After that let's go ahead and realign it to be closer to the camera. So I'm going to select our little align tool here and I'm going to push shift and that will lock its axis up and down and then I'll just click right here so it's much closer to the camera in 3D space. Also, if you're ever having trouble with 3D tracking, you can go ahead and enable this show hints box and then it will tell you how to do all the stuff I just showed you. What we can do after that is we could drag up the scale of it. We could change our color here if you wanted. I actually like the color that it is currently. We could go ahead and set the fog randomness, fog birth rate, birth rate randomness, all sorts of different options to play around with. And I really love the flexibility this gives you. We could also enable fog speed, so it's kind of actually moving a little bit there. So this is really cool how it's added this 3D atmosphere to this scene that wasn't originally super atmospheric. So really a powerful tool. Once you add in some color grading or use something like M Film Look, you're gonna get a really amazing looking scene. And that is something that I love with M Tracker 3D is the absolute flexibility. But there was something that I've always wanted to try with M Tracker 3D, and that is tracking something onto a sign. Now, normally 3D trackers don't work super well with signs. Usually they're made for tracking larger scenes, but there is a way to actually track a 2D sign, and I'm gonna show that to you right now. Here we have this shot of this guy holding this green screen sign. Normally you couldn't just select the 3D tracker and have it do its thing. But something I used to do a lot in After Effects was create a map mask around the object and I just loosely followed it. It wasn't super precise or anything, but I wanted that mask just around the sign. Once I did that, I applied the M Tracker 3D underneath that in the layer stack and I changed the movement type over to tripod. After that, I went ahead and just tracked it. And what that gave me was a perfect track of this sign. So all I need to do now is go into M Tracker 3D and we'll apply something like Drop Zone 01. I'm actually gonna disable the animations. It has some really nice fade animations, but that's not what we're going for. Then we can go ahead and select our original track data, copy that, select the drop zone and paste that tracking data. So now this drop zone has all of the motion data of that sign, which is really, really cool. Then we can select our alignment tool. I'll push shift to lock its axis there. After that, we can go ahead and adjust the scale and its positioning here, its rotation a little bit. And I'll go ahead and disable the shadow here, but you'll see how this drop zone is just locked to that sign now. Now I can select this drop zone and select whatever I want to be on the signage. So we've got this nice big subscribe sign happening within our scene. So if you're interested in M Tracker 3D, make sure you check out the links down below. This next plugin goes in tandem with M Tracker 3D, and that is M Tracker 3D Area. Now you do need M Tracker 3D for this one to work, but it is absolutely amazing what you can pull off with it. 
I've already tracked my scene. All I'm gonna do is look at all of these different presets they have set up for me and select the one that I like. So I actually really like how this circle one looks. So I'll go ahead, drag that onto my timeline. Then from there, I'll go ahead, copy my tracking data from the original layer. Then selecting my title, I'll select paste track. And just like that, it has all of the tracking data that we need. From here, you're just gonna go ahead and click on your video where you want these tracking points to be. So I'll go ahead and just apply those just like that. And then finally, we'll go ahead and just select the last point to close it off. So if we push play, we can see that we have this nice little animation of this faint circle ring happening here. From here, we can start to adjust the settings. So we'll go into the line settings and we can go ahead and drag up the line size just like so. We could change the colors if we wanted to, although I like how the white looks. Moving down, we can actually change the line animation. So currently it's set to outline. Let's go ahead and see how Flickr looks. So Flickr has this really cool kind of Flickr animation. Now you can add a ton of really cool stuff like different labels. You can actually add up to 16 labels and to do that you'll just click on an edge and select add label and then we'll just push label one. So that is how you can quickly add a label although I prefer this scene without the label. So I'll go ahead and just set that back to none. Then from there we can go ahead and scroll on down and find all of the fill settings. Now if you want you can enable or disable if it has a fill animation. What we can also do is change how thick these lines are. We could change the color of these lines so if we want them to be orange. Tons and tons of control over this really amazing plugin. And what's really cool is each of these points can be moved in 3D space. So if I move this up, you'll notice how it's actually floating above the scene. So if we want this to be floating up in the air, almost like a drone is holding it up or something, we could do that. M-Tracker 3D is going to know in 3D space where this is supposed to be. So you can get very, very creative with this. What you could do is actually apply it to the side of a wall. We can apply this down here. I will go ahead and copy my tracking data and we'll paste our tracking data. Then we can go ahead and just click on the points that we want to blur out just like so. And now in 3D space, this is being blurred out. So this is a very, very powerful tool because you could blur out a billboard that might have a logo on it or something like that. When I first started out on YouTube, I didn't really know where I should go for great graphics. And I really wish I had known about MTuber. So MTuber has so much stuff from all of these incredible backgrounds, calls to action, chapter bars, corner screens, intros, social media icons, tools, typography. There's just so much you can do with the specific plugin. I really love how these backgrounds look. So I'm gonna take this background, I can apply it over the top of my footage and you'll see how it just has this really dynamic looking animation over the top of my footage. And this would be very easy to add some titles in over the top. We could go ahead and change the colors if we wanted it to better match our branding. You could go in here, set everything to teal and orange like I do. So it's really up to you how you want these graphics to look. But then what I love to do is have a nice graphic underneath all of my stuff. So I'll push Control D. This video is seven minutes and 25 seconds long, so I'll just push 72500, that'll set it to seven minutes, 25 seconds in duration. And so it's really easy to apply these backgrounds. They look so nice and dynamic. There's also these incredible calls to action. So if I wanted to tell people to subscribe, I could just place this right on my timeline. And just like that, there's this beautiful animation happening, asking people to consider subscribing, which you should. Shameless plug! So if I wanted to, I could change this graphic to say the final cut bro. And now it's going to say it right here in this graphic. You can change how many subscribers it has. You can change all of the coloring options. And something that I always love about motion VFX is they always put on-screen controls. So if I wanna move this to a different part of the screen, I don't have to bother with the transform tool. I can use the on-screen controls right here. So if I wanted to cover up my face, I could do that drag it up really big. Make sure you really see that subscribe button. So that is MTuber if you're interested. Again, 30% off down in the description. Let's be honest, YouTube is really, really pushing vertical format videos. So that is where M Shorts comes into play. 
M Shorts just has a massive amount of diverse looking animations that you can apply, different calls to action, different visual styles that I really like. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these. Firstly, there are these avatar animations, so I can just quickly apply that onto my video and you'll see how dynamic and nice this little animation is. We can go ahead and add in a drop zone. So if I wanted to, I could add my YouTube graphic here. You can actually double click on the drop zone and then shrink it down here and then we can go ahead and bring up the group size after that. So now we have this dynamic animation happening. It's got my channel icon. We could also change what this text says. We could just say 30% off. So that's just one of many different graphics they've added. But then on top of that, there's also all of these different elements, these graphic elements. So I'll just apply that. And now we've got these kind of cool dots happening over the top. So this could be a really great way to showcase a product or something like that. There's these different frames we can add. So if we wanted to, you know, kind of slice off the edges and really draw in attention to the center of the frame. This one looks like a camera recording, which I really like. And you can actually use these on-screen controls to adjust how this looks. And then after that, there's all these different tools and effects. So if we wanted to apply something like a backlight, we could do that and you'll see how nicely these edges are lit up. Duotone, I really like. It's got this great looking blue and red style right off the bat. And of course you can change these colors to whatever you like. Then on top of that, we could go ahead and apply some nice typography. So if you just say not happy, do this now. Buy Motion VFX, 30% off now. Boom. The secret to happiness is right here in this video. There are so many tools, it's really hard to capture how many amazing tools there are in each one of these for motion VFX. So I highly, highly recommend that you pick up M Shorts if you are doing any kind of vertical content on YouTube, TikToks, or Reels. The wizards over at Motion VFX updated one of my all time favorite plugins for Apple Silicon, and that is M Flare 2. So to apply Mflare 2, you can go ahead and just select it here in your categories and you'll see that there are hundreds of different flares that you can play around with and they're all fully customizable. If we wanted to, I'll just look up beam and there's this beam stream one that I really like for this particular shot. I'll go ahead and just apply beam stream and I'll click and drag this flare over onto this light and you can see that as this flare is moving around, it's actually changing the results in real time. I'll apply it onto this light and you'll notice that there's actually a tracking option. So I can go ahead and select the tracker. That's gonna give me this box and I can click and adjust this box so that it's got the entire flashlight inside of it. Then from there, I'll go ahead and just push track. It's gonna quickly track the shot and as long as you have a lot of contrast in your shot, it's going to do a really good job. Now that we've done that, I need to go ahead and reverse the track and I'll push track again to track the very beginning of this shot. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and hide the tracker. And you'll notice now that Motion VFX has automatically animated this lens flare to work in real time in Final Cut Pro. And what's so cool is we can go ahead and adjust the color of the light. So if we wanted more of a blue light, you could do that. You can change the brightness. It also has a ton of different animation types. And one of my favorite is dynamic animation because we can change it to go on the border of the screen if we want to. We can have it so that it actually fades down. So if you're interested in M Flare 2 and getting it for 30% off, make sure you check out the links down below. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.